So, uh, look at this guy. So I want you to look at this guy. Well, actually, you know, trigger warning, probably shouldn't look at this guy. Uh, so this guy got owned. Um, and so we have a clip here of the moment that this guy's ownage has, uh, you know, taken place. And uh, his reaction to seeing that he's going to be sent to prison for a significant portion of his life. Uh, and so, of course, this is the person who murdered George Floyd on national television and then lied about it constantly. Up until, like, they were still lying about it. They were talking about how, like, you know, like, oh, it's George Floyd's head was next to the exhaust pipe and that's how he died or something. It had nothing to do with the fact that... You know, yeah, sure, our client had his neck held down by his knee, and he could have moved him away from the exhaust pipe if that is the art, if he did die from the, like, you know, so their whole argumentation doesn't make any sense, right? So this guy got destroyed, and I want to watch this moment. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2020. This guy's like looking around. This is where like the Curb Your Enthusiasm music plays. It's like, wait a second. I'm a cop. This isn't supposed to happen. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021 at 1.44 p.m. Signed juror four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count two. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count two. Third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act. Find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1 45 p.m. Signed by jury four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count three. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1 45 p.m. Jury four person, 019. There you go. The jury in the above I love the, uh, you know, captioned reactions. Of course, everyone elated with excitement. Um, and this is good news. But I like I really just, you know, of course, there's a lot of liberals are, that are going out there. And we'll get into Nancy Pelosi's comments in, a, in another segment coming up. Um, but this is really good news. Except what we need to understand is like, this never happens. And the only reason that this did happen, right? Again, I want everyone to remind themselves of what would have happened if there was no cell phone video of George Floyd being murdered. If he was murdered instead of being on national television, international television, if he was just murdered uh, in, in the darkness of, you know, anonymity, right? The original police report said that, you know, everything was fine. You know, he just died. You know, someone, whoops, whoopsie daisy, someone died. No idea what was going on. By the way, everything we did was perfect. Our body cameras were working perfectly. Everything was fine. Everything was great. Uh, they didn't even mention his name. No one had any idea who he was until the video came out. Um, and so, like, that's another thing that we have to understand is, like, but for the video, this would never have happened. They probably wouldn't have even had this guy sitting in a courtroom. He probably would have never gone to trial. He probably would have never even had to deal with this. And if he did, he would have been found innocent because there's no evidence, uh, you know, contributing to the fact that he was guilty as a motherfucker. And so that's what we have to understand here as a society is that this happens all the time. Police will always get away with it until they don't when, you know, there's video evidence. And even in cases where there is video evidence of people being murdered, even in those cases, still a lot of the time, uh, people uh, manage to get off just because they're police officers. Uh, and it's still just a giant fucking disaster that we need to understand. So yes, this is a small victory. It is a good thing. Um, it is, you know, obviously this person deserves to rot in jail for the, what they've done. Uh, and again, this isn't the first person, uh, that, you know, Derek Chauvin has, you know, abused his, uh, you know, power against. And when we looked into this guy's past, we saw that he had numerous abuse of force complaints, that he had shot people before, that he had done all this. So this is this guy's first rodeo. And that's why it's really important to understand that this guy has gotten away with it. And then he tried again, got away with it, tried again, got away with it until he didn't. And it shouldn't take that many attempts. It shouldn't have to like, you know, murder several people, shoot several people, you know, destroy several people's bones before you finally uh, get accountability. That's not the world that we should live in. Um, and so again, we have to understand that this is potentially uh, a turning point, but it won't be if uh, people let up. And again, uh, I'm going to get into this very shortly, but again, there's reason to not let up. And so yeah, but I just wanted to cover that because it's really good news for once.